what we are doing today is a palliative, one of the palliative programs to pushing the effect of subsidy removal in Nigeria. It is because we share the pain and the feelings of our people, and we want to support the federal and the state government in making sure that the pains of our people are reduced. So we are here today to distribute more than 3,000 food materials to our people as a first stage and a project to launch the subsidy removal program in the Gobo Bayou SCD. Anyway, what we are doing today is non-political. The approach we are giving to it is to go through all registered associations and groups within the LCDA. We have invited the Christian Association of Nigeria, we have invited, invited the Muslim Society, the Artisans, the National Youth Council of Nigeria, and all other youth groups. Equally here, we have market, we have CDC and CDAs, we have representative of all the special houses that are within the LCDA, people living with disability are here. So what we use today is actually addressing the citizens and the residents. Because if actually politicians are citizens and residents, they will benefit from what we are doing. So we are not segregating. It is actually addressed to people living in Igbo Gobayo Kwesidi, not putting, not putting into consideration political interests. Yeah, what we have started today is a six-month program that we have started and we'll be doing different things. It's not compulsory that is food. Palliative programs We definitely address a lot of things. We're still putting up different strategy and mechanism to reach our people and pushing the effect. So it's not going to be all round food. Other programs will come. In fact, we're looking at opportunity of introducing some package that we get people more food at a cheaper rate. All this will be revealed to our people within the next couple of days. And as I've said, they are going to, we have just released a phone number that people can test and inform us and nominate a beneficiary. We will investigate the nomination and the food package will be delivered to the person at home. Anyway, my appeals to Nigerians, not only residents of Ibogobayoko, to Nigerians in general and Lagosians, both indigenous and non-indigenous, is to work with the present government. Ashwajibol Ahmed Inubu is a promise keeper. He will not promise what he's not ready to do. Although he knows, and he has said it, that he understands that there is hardship now, and that is why he's rolling out different plans to push in it. I just want to appeal to us to give him some time and we'll start having, reaping the fruits of all his plans. What he's doing is to make sure Nigerian is out of our present situation and come into a country where people can joyfully and happily live and bring food to their table. So my appeal to Nigerians is to give this government some time while we do what is needed to revive and to bring Nigeria back to one of the best countries in the world. Nigeria, general. We are going through very uh, difficult times. Uh, we are going through a lot of things. But these are necessary things that one has to go through in order to give back to support and happiness. It's like a woman that goes to the labor room. When the woman goes to the labor room, it's a kind of situation. It's a kind of, he does not know whether it's will be or death. He goes through and has to shake his face. But after she did the water, he immediately adjoined uh, those two hands. But the grace of God, after a period of time, Nigeria generally uh, will be in plenty by the grace of God. And our faith will be good. Uh, the president has also uh, highlighted several uh, uh, palliative programs. And I want to repeat, particularly for the benefit of our own people in this local government, the president has promised that there is going to be 
Thank you. 